Edmund C. Hind. Edmund C. Hind, April 6, 1830, December 20, 1909, was a gold miner and laborer. His life was, at times, extremely difficult and filled with various hardships due to his career as a gold prospector in the 1850s. Throughout most of his adult life, Hind kept detailed diaries on his daily activities. After his death, his son, Harry Hind, donated the diaries to the California State Library. The diaries have provided a wealth of information on a variety of topics, in particular on the California Gold Rush. Early Years Edmund C. Hind was the son of Thomas S. Hind, and he was born in Urbana, Champaign County, Ohio, on April 6, 1830. Thomas S. Hind had been a very prominent newspaper publisher, real estate developer, and Methodist minister. The Hind family was well known in Ohio, Kentucky, and Illinois. Like his other brothers and sisters, Edmund grew up in Mount Carmel, Illinois. Edmund's father and mother died early, and he and his brothers and sisters were forced to either live with other family or fend for themselves. Edmund and his other siblings lived with their older sister Martha, and her husband, Judge Charles H. Constable, during the 1850s. After the death of his parents, Edmund was briefly responsible for caring for his younger sister. Once he found suitable accommodations for his sister, Edmund left Mount Carmel and took on a variety of menial jobs. He eventually left to mine for gold in California. California Gold Mining in 1850, Hind began his trip to California to look for gold. The trip was harsh and Hind met with many difficulties on the way to California. Eventually, Edmund and the other prospectors who traveled with him made it to California, and they had limited success in mining gold. However, the experience was so challenging that Hind only stayed a short time gold mining before returning to the Midwest. In his journal, Hind stated that he was swindled out of a large amount of money when he tried to sell the gold he mined upon his return. Later years, following Hind's time prospecting gold during the California gold rush, he went to Canada for a number of years. It was reported in his obituary that while in Canada, he was connected with Fort Edmonton. After his time in Canada, Hind returned to various locations in Illinois. Eventually, he settled in his hometown of Mount Carmel and was involved in the grain business for the remainder of his life. Four years before Hind died, he moved to Riverside, California, stayed with his son Harry Hind. Edmund is buried in Evergreen Memorial Park and Mausoleum in Riverside. Additional Information Hind wrote extensive journals during his life. Part of his journals were donated after his death by his son Harry to the state of California. In 1983, Jerome Peltier edited and published a selection of the journals that related to his experiences with the California Gold Rush. Additionally, Edmund is repeatedly mentioned in the journals of his father, Thomas S. Hind, which are among the Draper manuscripts held by the Wisconsin Historical Society.